Hey guys, it's Vicki with Bella Essentials. Bella is chilling out right now. She had a long week at gymnastics practice and I felt like making soap. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, we're making pina colada cake slice soap today. I saw a picture on Pinterest and it caught my eye and my stomach. It looks so good. Um, so I decided why not save the calories and make it into soap. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I had a little bit of fragrance oil left from the soap Bella made, um, the Caribbean float soap. And so that is in here mixed with some vanilla color stabilizer and a little bit of pina colada fragrance as well. Um, so the colorant we're using is from Nurture Soap. Um, this really pretty gold is a combination of Shimmer Gold and Maya Gold. They're really pretty. It kind of gives a sand look, um, but we're going to use it for crust. Also, I'm going to use Lemon Drop Mica. That's also from Nurture Soap. And of course, got some glitter and things of that nature. And we're going to use white. Um, of course, that's the gold, but we're, I mixed up some titanium dioxide. Um, I usually keep them in the jar and just, you know, shake it up, stir it really, really, really good. Um, but titanium dioxide is going to be for our white. So, and that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I've also got some of these that Bella had used before on the Caribbean soap. It is cold processed soap shreds and it has some glitter on them. Well, it's biodegradable glitter and mica. I like to mix some velvet pearl mica from Nurture Soap with our um, biodegradable glitter. I feel like it gives this fine yet really pretty shimmer to it if you just want it to kind of be shimmery. We are also going to pipe on top and have this star tip here. This has all these ridges. It doesn't matter how much you mess up. It still looks like dessert. It's amazing. I love this tip. Um, so I've got that set up in a cup. I always like to put it up, you know, in a cup so I can easily access it. Um, so that's the plan today. Um, let me know what you think about this camera angle. I'm just trying something different. One of my light bulbs is out on my light. So we're going to work it out today. See what we can do. Um, Okay, well, let's get started. Okay, here we go. And this is this stick blender, Cuisinart stick blender that Bella had mentioned multiple times getting it on sale and it is, it's awesome. Like we, we really do like it way better than the KitchenAid one. It's a personal preference, of course, but I feel like it's a little quieter and stronger. You have to press this like lock button I guess I should probably turn it on low. So it's got low and high. We're gonna turn it on low and press this lock button. It's like a safety mechanism. Unlock, I'm sorry. Unlock button. And then you press the button. So.
goodness, guys, this smells so amazing. Okay, once again, we're gonna finish this up. I tried to make it a little bit lighter, so maybe it would look a little more ombre. everything with rubbing alcohol before I use it. I always spritz it with rubbing alcohol to disinfect all the surfaces, everything I use. Well, everything we use, because Bella does the same thing. Okay, guys, it looks like I made exactly the right amount. Like, that's crazy. I never do that good. <laughs> that was insane.
Okay, we are gonna unmold these soaps. Oh, I guess I need my other glove on. <laughs> Here we go, let's unmold these. <laughs> okay, like I said, let's unmold these. <laughs> oh man, it's still sticky, no, no. No, I don't like that. Why is it still sticky? Oh my goodness. This whole thing, what, what? Oh. Well, it smells good. I may need to leave it for another day. Why is it so soft? Look how soft it is. Okay, we are going to go ahead and unmold this soap cake slices. Um, it's been in the freezer for about an hour or so. And I unmolded this one this morning, but as you can see, it's got, it's not perfect, but it looks so cute. It looks so cute. But yeah, you can kind of see where it was kind of stuck to the mold a little bit. But with this mold, once it's like halfway out of the mold, there's no putting it back in. So anyways, we're, smells so good. We're gonna see if we can unmold a couple of these or all of them, we'll see <laughs> what we can get. Oh, here it comes. It's still sticky, I can tell. I'm literally holding my breath. Oh, oh yay! It looks so cute. I'm gonna insert another picture right here so you can see the inspiration that I had again. Um, from the beginning of the video. It looks so good. That one's so much better. It's really cute. Okay, let's push that back in. Ooh. Okay, this has been, like I said, in the freezer for a couple hours. I tried to unmold it last night and it was still so sticky. And even this morning it was actually kind of sticky. So Bella had this brilliant idea to put it in the freezer. She's so much smarter than me. 